Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to evaluate the limit if it exists. We leave the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 5 minus h squared minus 25 over h. And so what we have to do is we have to simplify this fraction to get rid of this h in the denominator. Because if we just plug in 0 directly, we're going to be dividing by 0, and obviously we can't do that. So we can say that this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of, um, and actually we're going to write it as an intermediate step, negative 5 minus h times negative 5 minus h. Just so we know what to do, we need to um, distribute this out. So we have negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. Negative 5 times negative h is negative 5, positive 5h, another positive 5h, and then negative h times negative h is positive h squared. Don't forget the minus 25, and we're dividing by h. 25 minus 25 cancel each other out. Therefore, we have the limit is h approaches 0 of h squared plus 5h plus 5h is plus 10h over h. And now we can simplify this. h squared plus 10h is h times h plus 10, right? Factoring out an h from both of these terms, divided by h, canceling the h's out, we have the limit as h approaches 0 of h plus 10. The reason that we can cancel this out without worrying about the domain restriction, which is that the denominator h cannot equal 0, right? Normally when you cross things out, you have to worry about specifying that, okay, this is turning into this, but we also have to remember that h can equal 0. The reason we don't have to worry about that here is because we're looking at the limit, which is the behavior of the function as it approaches 0, not it actually being at 0, meaning we don't really have to care about this. And since we no longer have a division by 0, we can just plug in 0 directly, 0 plus 10, which is equal to 10, and therefore the value of this limit is equal to 10.